A Twitter post that's gotten a lot of traction claims that Austin is one U.S. city where analysts expect to see an Airbnb crash. Housing experts say revenue for those rental units is down due to a big drop in demand. KVU's Ford Sanders spoke with rental owners in Austin to see if they're feeling the effects. As Austin's population exploded during the pandemic, so did the number of people getting into the short-term rental business. Maybe they bought two or three or four, and that caused the supply of Airbnbs to go up very, very fast. At the same time, the demand... Demand isn't quite the same as it was during the pandemic. Nick Jurley is a data consultant for home buyers and real estate investors. On Twitter, he posted a breakdown of how the short-term rental market has changed, saying revenues in Austin are down some 46%. The expenses of operating an Airbnb in Austin and in Texas more broadly are very, very high in general due to cleaning fees and uh, you know taxes and things like that. But the, the, the property tax piece is huge. He points to data from a rental analysis site called All the Rooms. Numbers from that site show the average short-term rental in Austin made around $4,600 in May of 2022, but only brought in about $2,500 this May. I think the 50% drop in revenue is honestly just headlines. Blake Carter is a native Austinite who runs a company that operates over 60 short-term rentals in Central Texas. He says they have seen a dip in revenue, but it's nowhere near what some websites are claiming. We have a pretty good scope on it. We've seen on average maybe about 15 to 20% drop in gross revenue. It used to be you just put a house up on the market and it would rent out regardless of how nice it was or anything. You just put a bed and a couch in a in a, in a and the house and it rents out. He admits the Airbnb rental market is oversaturated right now, causing an issue for homeowners as well. It affects the supply of rental housing. It affects the supply of houses for sale. And it's definitely in, it's definitely played a part in the uh, inflationary housing crisis that we've experienced. Although things are tough right now, both Carter and Jurley say they have high hopes the market will begin to settle again over the next year or two. In Austin, I'm Ford Sanders.